Thanks, Sile. Far North Film and Television Academy is a new institute that will be offering 11 courses in television and production around Bolokwane Limpopo. The school hopes to unearth young creatives and the next generation of filmmakers and producers. The academy also includes mavens in the industry to assist the learners. This is the brainchild project of Niki Wemati, who joins us now in studio, as well as content strategist Lysia Mokhwadi. Gentlemen, it's great to have you in studio. Thank you so much for making the time. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Nikki, I'll start with you. You, you founded this project. Um, where does it come from? Where did the idea come from? The idea came from a desire to have uh, local content, local to Limpopo. I'm from Limpopo. I'm a, I'm a native of uh, Limpopo province. So there was a, an innate desire to see Tsonga productions, you know, marginalized uh, languages like uh, Shivenda and Sipedi productions. And also to, to have more young people that we think are, I'm an employer, I'm a producer, so I employ a lot of like, young people. Sometimes you get students who come in and they're not necessarily ripe for the, 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 the activities that you want them to perform in the workplace. So us as uh, industry practitioners who are every day in the industry, we thought, okay, let's get together. Decided to get together some people that, uh, that I know can deliver what we need to say, let's train these young people so that when they come into our workspace, we've got young people that are ripe and can get into the workplace and do the activities and the tasks that we need them to do almost immediately. And what are some of the courses that the institution offers? What, what are you giving these young creatives that are going to walk into Far North looking for the skill of television, of filmmaking, of producing, of being content creators that you think that perhaps other um, institutions are not doing? We, we're offering the whole video chain. So from script writing all the way to audio final mix and you know sound recording and voiceover recording. So the whole the whole value chain, you know. But uh, we've got intro introduction classes, which is uh, film history and uh, film theory and criticism, where we're going to also be dealing with the uh, uh, content, uh, a lot of content in those. But from script writing, directing, editing, <coughs> cinematography, lighting design, sound design, everything, the whole value chain. So as a student will be able to walk in and learn A to Z of television production, A to Z of film production. Indeed. Lisiamo, uh, how important is it that young people are involved in this project? We know that with Far North, Nikiwe approached other creatives, other mavens in the industry um, who bring a conglomerate of skills. How important is it and how is important is the role of those people to the learners? Um, I think the, the, the first thing that is worth mentioning is that the, the people that have come on board, these are industry professionals, these are people who have uh, collectively amassed, one would say, more than a hundred years in the industry. So these are people who know what they're talking about. These are people who have been in the industry for a very long time. So these are people who will engage young learners on that level. So it's not just on a theoretical level, but it's also on very, on very much on a practical level. So the skills that we want to impart, unlike other institutions of higher learning where the focus is mainly on theory, what we are doing is we are doing theory and practical, and I think a, young, a lot of young people are going to benefit a lot from, from, from that engagement. All right. Nikki, well, we see a lot of fly-by-night institutions. Uh, matriculants just got their results not so long ago. Many are looking to go into institutions of higher learning. Is Far North credited? Far North is credited by the media information and communications technology CETA. That is the CETA that is responsible for our our industry, our field. So yes, uh, and our qualification is uh, SACWA aligned. So everything is above board uh, right. as far as accreditation. And we're not a fly by night. You know, I think, uh, yeah, no, uh, everything. <laughs> I wanted to get into other things to say, you know, there are things that make an institution suffer and eventually, you know, close its doors. At the end of the day, we are a fee paying school. So if students come in and they pay their fees, our doors will remain open. But yeah. if students come and then don't pay their fees, we'll have to give notice to say, guys, we can't be doing this uh, for Mahala, mm. for the lack of a better word, because, you know, then that's not sustainable. Mm. But in terms of the paperwork and the admin, we are accredited, we are registered, everything is above board.
All right. Um, this project is only for students in Limpopo, right? It's yes. based in Bulukwane. There's no other far north in other parts of the country yet. Am I no, right? No, All not right. yet. How important is it for you as a young creative to you know, make sure that other young creatives have the access? Because I think access as black creatives is, is one of the major stumbling blocks. Yeah. I think there's three things. There's access, there's issue of regional representation, and there's the issue of industry development. I think with DTT coming, you know that there's going to be, I think, plus minus 22 channels. So there's going to be content needed for those channels. And it is institutions like Far North that are going to help with content for those particular channels. So also, I think the timing is perfect because Far North comes at a time where there has been a growing uh, there's been growing calls from um, different corners of, of, of the country uh, to open up the industry. So I think what Far North is doing is responding to that call as well, to say, let's open up the industry, let's make sure that a lot of people have access into the film and television space, and also let's empower people, let's enable people from different provinces to tell their own stories. Because I think a lot of times what happens is that there's always this requirement for a regional representation or for stories from the regions. And what happens most of the time is that broadcasters would commission production companies from Johannesburg to tell stories from the regions. And we are saying that surely there's something wrong with that. Why can't we have production companies in different uh, uh, provinces Region. in South Africa? And then we can get stories from those uh, different production companies within the different parts of South Africa. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for making the time to be here. All the best with the project. Far North Film and Television Academy is a new institute that will be offering courses in television and production in Bologwani. You can, of course, get yourself registered if you are interested. That's the brainchild of a director and TV producer Niki Wemati and uh, content strategist Lucia Mokwadi was also here to talk to us about the academy. Do stay tuned to Morning Live.